funding for your real estate deals, Future Cash Flow Funding has exactly what you need. Whether you're looking to fix and flip, new construction loans, or if you even have rental properties, you can get the financing you need today. FutureCashFlowFunding.com. Check it out. FutureCashFlowFunding.com. And, uh... I know he was, um, like I felt the judge, he uh, he was on federal probation. I was like, maybe an address for him. But other than that, I have no way of knowing. So you saying it's possible that he could be incarcerated or something? Or? No, 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 no. He was on parole. So, like, he still has a PO. Oh. A that he's supposed to check in with. What I'm saying is, is like, they may have a last known address on him. You know what I mean? Like, cause if he's still a piper. Yeah, somebody can find him. I mean, I think we could probably find him. I mean, we're pretty good at tracking people down. I can't make a promise, but, you know, it's all one of those things. Because <laughs> it would be a whole lot easier if he could sign off on it. And, uh, you know, it would be pretty easy. Because if not, we have to go another route, which, you know, not the best option, but it isn't, you know. The best option would be to have him sign off on it so we can have clear title. Uh, we we could still do a deal, but you know it won't be fully completed without the spouse signing off on it. If that makes sense. Okay, I can. You want his name and birthday? Yeah. Are you able to text that to me? Um, do you want me to text it to this number or the yeah. other number? Yeah, this number's fine. Yeah, this is my direct number here. So yeah, if you text okay. it to this, I'll uh, you know have my team do some digging, see if we can track them down, find them. Uh, hopefully that goes well. Uh, if not. We're gonna to have to do another way to get this done. Uh, how's the moving okay. and everything been going? Is everything going good there? Um, it, it's it's going good. We uh we're making another trip over. Okay, perfect, perfect. It's, it's progressing. Well, that's that's all we can do is step by step, right? At least the weather been good. Yep. Go. That has been very nice. I, I, I appreciate that. Okay, so yeah, once you text all me right. that, I'll have my team try to track your husband down and see if we can get him to sign off on these papers and. Get this thing resolved, okay? Okay, Thank you so much. All right. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. So that call is of a seller we have under contract. We're trying to buy her house stop her auction, help her get moved out, and do all these things, but we got a monkey wrench. She's got a husband. Yeah, married. The ring is on the finger. So, uh, in the state of Missouri, the spouse has to sign. I mean, it's really the moral of the story. Both spouses must sign, husband and wife, whether they're on the deed or not, whether they're on the loan or not. Both spouses need to sign, and if they don't, it caused a monkey wrench, and that's where we find ourselves today with an auction pending for early next week. So I'm putting on my real estate hat today and trying to solve some problems. Uh, so I'm going to be calling some other real estate leads. I'm also going to be, um, I think I got a list of what I'll be doing today. I'll be talking to some uh, homeowners. I got a lead that came in this morning. I'll be following up with a commercial property. Y'all might have seen me walk through uh, yesterday on my live from yesterday about this time. I walked through a commercial building. I want to be calling that seller back, see what we can work out with her, whether that's cash or terms, because I think her price is ridiculous, as most are. You know, they got to start somewhere. Then I'll try to touch a few pre-foreclosures. We got a few of those on the list as well. And we might do some agent, real estate agent outreach. So welcome everybody to just jumping in. For those that don't know, my name is Chris Monroe. It's the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. And I do some real estate investing out of St. Louis, Missouri and some wholesaling nationwide. Bring me a real estate problem. That's kind of what I do. Solve problems for people who own real estate. So, if you could share this out, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, do that thing, and we will get these calls popping. And it looks like Miss, the lady we just got off the phone with, sent the information for the, her husband. Last known address. 
She sent the name, date of birth, and I'm gonna ask last known address, and I'm gonna send it over to my virtual assistants and tell them go try to track this guy down, see if they can find him, so or find some information on him. While I make some calls today, they're making calls as well. So we got people making calls, voicemails, well, well ringlet voicemails, I guess we can call it, and we do the uh, uh, text message campaign. Really? That's dumb. I said last known address. The last known address is the address we're buying. Really? Okay, thanks. I guess that's better than nothing. <laughs> we'll track it down. That's what she just texted in. So that's cool. That's cool. Let's see what we got up here. Let's make it do what it do. So we called her. Scratch her off the list. So yes. Let's see here. X that out. X that out. And who else do we need to call? Let's make some calls, y'all. Um, who is this? Amanda. Ugh. And it's a free four o'clock. This came in yesterday? I didn't even see this. I don't even know where this is at. Bloomfield, Missouri. Out in the sticks. But it is a pre foreclosure. Let's see. Let me look it up right quick. See if it's still at auction. And we're gonna call her up. Bloomfield, Missouri. Anybody know about that? That's out in the sticks. I usually don't like these deals. I, I might want to tell her stop even reaching out to these people. That's too far away. Because I probably would not buy this, but who knows? So their auction is scheduled for February 20th. It appears to be a three bedroom, two bath, ranch brick style house. Looks like it got a metal roof or something, maybe. Yeah, 1,400 square feet and an auction and pre foreclosure. So according to my uh, virtual assistant, she says it's vacant. Oh, and it's vacant. They're moving to Alabama. The time to sell is ASAP. I bet it is ASAP when they got an auction pending. Uh, and yeah, that's really it. They didn't say anything about repairs. So let's call Miss Amanda. See what she's talking about. I didn't even know this was in here. I guess I should check my CRM every day. I don't. Uh, I guess I must have missed it, or I didn't check it yesterday, or I just didn't see it. And we're gonna call her up and see what's up. Call him up. Call him up. It's time for some follow up calls, y'all. It's time for some follow up calls, y'all. Follow up. Follow up. Pick up the phone. Let's go. Hello? Forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five, seven, three. I don't even know where this house at. You'll buy a house out here, I'm sure, in the sticks, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you buy a house in the sticks? But it's vacant. So that means it's going to be easy to show. <laughs> Let me see where this is at. Bloomfield. Where the hell is that at? Wait. Oh, hell no. It's all this down there by Sykeston, Poplar Bluff. Damn, this way down in South Missouri in a boot hill. Damn, I guess this is damn near closer to Memphis. We'll see. I don't know. I really don't think nothing of it, but we're going to see what's up with it. What up, Jermaine? What up, what up, what up? So let's call this lady this pre foreclosure again. Answer that phone, mate. That's your home time. Oh, damn. Well, we're going to sell you this house, Jermaine, so you can move back to your old hood. <laughs> Saxton, Missouri. Her call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I'm going to send her a text. 
she's already spoke to my uh, virtual assistant. So she's indicated that she did that she does want to sell Amanda. Hey Amanda, I was reaching out to you about your house. We can stop the auction. Call back anytime, Chris. We gonna roll with that. Boom. Moving on. Moving to the next one. Yeah. Well, actually, the property is in not Sykeston. It's in um, Bloomfield. I guess a town over or something, maybe. Bloomfield, out there near Sykeston. And I got another lead that came in this morning. This is out of St. Charles, Missouri, in a better neighborhood. Let's see what we got here. Let me find them in the system. Came in this morning at like 4 o'clock this morning. It's really kind of late. I really should have called them already. Somebody named Micah. So this is a lead out of St. Charles on Kelly Chris Court. Um, owner occupied is not listed. They want to sell within the next six months. That ain't nothing. Reason to sell. Sell without a real estate agent. Asking price. They didn't say anything. They owned it for over 15 years. Property condition is fair. So let me see. Something. Let me do a quick search of this, and then we'll call this guy. I just kind of want to look and see what I'm looking at. Even though it's an initial call. Oh, that's a nice looking little house. That's a nice house. Four bedroom, two and a half bath. His estimates say 338. So we are officially cooking. Is they own this house ain't even old enough to be. Is this a 15 year old? I guess it is. Built in 1987. It looked good to be built. Be that old. Rent estimates say 2275. His estimates say 338. So let's call Mr. Michael. Is that his name? Michael with the property on Kelly Chris. Let's call him up. See if we can get a, a fish on the hook. Let's go fishing. Gone fishing. Maybe they are um, sleep because they put the. Is that him? I know this is that foreclosure lady called me. Uh, what was her name? Amanda. Call from Pretty Houses. Hello, and thanks for calling. This is Chris. Hello. Oh, yes. Is this uh, Amanda? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is Chris. I was calling about your house on uh, Newcomer. How are you today? Hey, Chris. Uh, sold yet? Damn. No, uh-uh. Okay. Yeah, well, we were interested in buying it, and uh, I was just reaching out to you to see, um, you know, what we can do to help you out and get this done and wrapped up behind you. Uh, did you have a couple moments now? Yes, that would be amazing because I hate to let that foreclose. Oh, wow. Um, that would be great if you guys could help. <laughs> well, that's what we do. We solve problems for people who own real estate. So catch, Amazing. Yeah, so catch me up to speed a little bit. What's going on with this particular house? Um, well, honestly, uh, I started my own company and uh, it took a long time to get it running and just drained me and I could not afford that payment anymore and they wouldn't work with me to like refinance it or catch it up for anything and there was no way for me to catch that up so I ended up having to move into a rental house we just moved into a rental house um because I couldn't pay the full balance over there so which I've owned it for six years I mean I hate to let it go but I, there's no way I can pay off that full past due balance that they're wanting me to pay Oh, okay. So they did tell you how much it is in arrears to catch it up? Yes. Uh-huh. How much is that? Uh, 
it's uh gosh it's like eleven thousand dollars now so eleven thousand probably plus their attorney fees and junk fees and things like that i guess Oh, hold on, you were cutting out. What'd you say? I'm sorry. Yeah, I said it's, it's probably a little more than that because of their attorney fees and things like that. Probably, yeah. I mean, there's no way I can even come close to paying that. Like, there's no way. Wow. I mean, even when it was less than that, when I was trying to get them to work with me, they I, they wouldn't, and I, like, I just couldn't come up with all that at one time. Mm. Yeah, well, they do that sometimes. They, they want that money. They don't care about anything else. Give me the money. And they don't want to do anything else with it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, how much is still owed on but it? I will tell you, though. Uh, I still owe like 140000 on that house. One forty. Like, everything that I paid, I guess this went towards interest. Because when I first got that house, I paid 132000 for it. And I owe 140 somehow. Oh, wow. That's more than what you paid for. Six years. Yeah, I've had it for six years. So, mm. like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I think they kind of screwed me a little bit, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they do that, and I don't, I don't even know how they calculate some of that stuff sometimes, too. It's like they make it up as they go. Yeah, I have no idea how I owe 8000 more on it than I did when I bought it six years ago. Like, that doesn't even make any sense, but that's what they're telling me. Yeah. So let me ask you this, Amanda. How would you see all this playing out in a perfect scenario for you? If I could sell that house instead of being foreclosed, that would be amazing for me. But I will tell you ahead of time, we were going to remodel it and try to sell it. Um, we're actually in the middle of remodeling before I started this company. That Anyway, this whole company thing. But uh, so the master of and we have the concrete board and the tile and everything to do the tile in there for it um, but that will have to be redone because we didn't end up finishing it because we ran out of money um, and it needs new floor and put in into that house but other than that like it's good actually the person who was over the electric company here built that house so they made it all energy efficient so it has like the thermo heating and cooling unit stuff in it and it has a brand new water heater in there so we just put in well, the rest of it's good. It just needs new flooring. It needs that bathroom to be redone. Hmm. Okay. So the bathroom and the and the the master bath and bed were gutted, so they would have to be uh, renovated. And you need flooring throughout the house. Am I getting that right? Yeah, we need flooring throughout the house. Um. Yeah, I need, I need a new floor. So we got in there and we started taking some of it up. We're gonna put new floor down, and we just haven't yet. Okay. We ran out of money. <laughs> Okay, so your main goal here is to sell it and not have that foreclosure hit your your record for, I don't know, 10 years, basically, is what they do. Um, so, if yeah. there was a way we could do that, um, I guess you're saying you basically would like to sell your house for what you owe on it. Am I hearing that right? If I could get anything extra out of it, that would be wonderful. But, I mean, at this point, if I could just sell it, I would be happy. If I could get any more out of it, that would be even better. But... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Okay, so you owe about one forty. It's about eleven thousand in arrears, or to catch up the loan to bring it current. How much is the payments every month? Eight forty three. Eight forty three, and does that include the taxes and insurance? Uh, yes. Okay, so that's P I T I. Are there any H O A S there or anything, or is it just? Uh, no, there's no 808. Okay, perfect, perfect. So 843 a month. Um, Cause I mean, we have a couple of different ways we kind of tackle these deals. Sometimes we just buy them for cash if there's equity in it. Um, but I don't know, you said a house needs some work, so it's probably not gonna work as far as a cash purchase direct like that. So we do have another way that we help people. Okay. It's a little bit more creative. Uh, what we do is we, we would buy the house and as is condition, uh, we would catch up that loan, that 11000 in arrears, and continue making those payments uh -huh. just to keep the house current so it doesn't hit as a foreclosure. Then we would fix up the house and either you know sell it in the future or do something with it uh, to recoup the money that we put into it. Um, you think something like stopping the auction and getting it resolved for you that way would help you out? Hey, Chris, is that you? Uh, yeah, we could do that, yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So you would... So you would pretty much 
refinance it, but it would still be in my name until you guys wanted to sell it? Or I'm kind of confused on that. Yeah, so let me clear it up for you. So basically, we would not refinance right now. We would leave the loan that's there in place. We would catch up the arrears at 11000 or so. Uh, then we would go in and do whatever renovations we would do. And then uh, we would sell it sometime in the future after that. But we would not go refinance it immediately, no. Because we would have to recoup the money that we put into it to fix it up, and etc. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But in the meantime and in between time, you don't have that foreclosure hitting your record and it, it actually looks uh, good on your credit report to show that, hey, it's been part of the problem for everybody. The bank doesn't want your house. You don't want to just uh, you know, have it put that foreclosure on your record. And it really just solves all the problems in one. And I don't even know if it would work for this deal or not. And it's just an option that we have done in the past for other people in this situation. Okay. So, so as far as okay, to get... Yeah. So for us to get started, uh, the main thing we would need for right now, do you have a copy of the last mortgage statement? I'd have to go in there and look. I think I do. I might have just threw that away. Um, I can have them email it to me. Yeah, I can have email that would be great. And I'm going to send you a text as well with all my company information and everything so you know who you're speaking to. Um, and then you'll have all my contact okay. information. And if you can just text that back to me or if email's better, you can email it to me, either one. Um, if you can get me that, uh, that would be the first thing we would need. And then after that, we can get the other paperwork started to get this process going. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, I will do that. I will get that over to you. Perfect. Do you know what the auction date is for it already? The 20th? The twentieth of February. It's coming up quick, yeah. What what lender is this? Which lender? Or Planet Planet Home Lending. Planet Home Lending. Uh huh. Okay, I don't know if we had that one, but I guess we'll find out what song and dance they're gonna want us to do with that one. But we'll figure it out either way. Other than that, Miss Amanda, okay. did you have any questions for me for now before I let you go? Uh, not right now. I don't. Thank you so much. Like this, you would really be saving me if we could work this out through. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna figure it out one way or the other. We're gonna see what we can do to solve this problem. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. All you gotta do is get on the phone and see if they home. What up? What you think about that call? Let me look back. I seen y'all was putting some stuff in the, in the comments, laughing and stuff. What was y'all saying back here? What do y'all think about that call? You think that's something good? It's cooking? I don't even know what the ARV or nothing. Well, she says she owed 140. Zestimates say 180. So it might be worth more than 180. It might be worth 180. Who knows? So let me go back. Questions, comments, concerns. Go ahead and put them in. I'll address those real quick right now. Uh, y'all, you like that zero, Jermaine? Zero. Say, so you selling it for what you owe on it? Let's go. I mean, I'll try to get them something if something's there. But if it ain't nothing there and I got to go dump a bunch of money and take a bunch of risk or whoever buys it, if I sell it to somebody else, what do you want me to do? Come on, man. Okay, question. So who pays the note? If they're already in foreclosure, are they able to afford it? Great question, Octavia. So let's be clear for you and everybody else in the audience. She no longer has to make any more payments. If we buy that house, we take over the property. Take full responsibility for maintenance, repairs, anything that deals with that house. We would buy it for all intents and purposes. As far as the note, the loan, the debt, all of that, that stays right in place. We would catch up her arrears of $11,000, pay the closing costs with the title company, uh, maybe get her a little something if something's there, but I don't know if it is. $11,000 might be kind of steep. That's over 10% already. Um, so, you know. No, she don't make any payments. We take payments. We are taking over her payments. We're not assuming loans. We don't assume loans. In fact, you can remove the word assume out of your vocabulary. We don't assume anybody's loan. We take over their loan. We catch up the arrears. We continue making payments just like they were doing before they came across us. But that's a great question, Octavia. Hope that helped you out. Welcome. Good to see you. Big deal, Roe. Good to see you. Easy peasy, get on the phone and see if they home. That's right, that's all we doing, man. Get on the phone. So yeah, uh, let's put in the notes what happened with that. O's 140, okay. Payments are, what'd she say, 843? 843 P. 
arrears, about 11,000. Uh, repairs uh, needed. I'll just say needed for now. Repairs needed. No, I'll say what it is. Master bath, master bed and bath gutted needs flooring throughout. I mean, that could literally be, uh, you know, we, we could be talking about 10 grand in repairs or more right there. Yeah. 10 grand in repairs, 11 grand in arrears. You $22,000 getting into the deal. Damn. I don't know. Might be good for a person who wants it. I don't know if I want it though. I haven't seen it or anything. So we're going to just work the process. I never know anything. I know to ask the right questions. I know nothing. I just know to ask the right questions and listen and learn the lessons. So question down here. Um, Big Deal Row says, what do you do with the title slash deed? We transfer it just like you would if you were buying any house for cash or any other way. We transfer the deed from the seller to us. We're transferring the deed, keeping the debt in place. That's subject to. We're buying the house subject to the existing financing. Leaving it there. Hopefully she got a low interest rate, but I'll just have her send me the, uh, the mortgage statement. We'll go from there. Matter of fact, let me send her my email that I promised. It was great speaking to you today. Learn more about us here. Please send the best email address for you. As well as the most recent mortgage statement. My girl said she threw it away. I ain't never heard nobody say that. I said, yeah, you have the last mortgage statement. I threw it away. Damn. That's when you know they letting the house go. I mean, it might be a let go house, though. We don't know yet. It's a lot of unknowns, so we're going to try to work the play, baby. Any other questions about that? Uh, no problems with the bank doing this. Why would there be a problem with the bank? Why would there be a problem? That's what I want to know. Does the bank have a say so on if you can or cannot sell your property? What's up, big deal, Ro in the bill? Hi, Chris. How you doing? I'm doing good. Today? Great. How are you? Hey, great. So I see you had some questions about that creative stuff, huh? Yeah. Um, um, I know about, I like a hat too, the sub two hat. I don't know. You just hear everybody talking about the do on sale clause and stuff like that. Yeah. What, what's the do on sale clause for the people who don't know? The do on sale clause is something that the bank could ask um, the seller to pay the whole mortgage in full when they transfer the deed or sell to the property. In any Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for you real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. Great. Yep. You've been doing some studying. Look at you. You are, you ain't playing around. Yeah. But yep. Uh, it, it can happen. That is a concern, mm -hmm. but it doesn't happen that often. I think it's like, what, less than 1% okay. or something like that. And it only usually happens a couple of different ways. One, you're not making a payment. Like if somebody takes it over and they stop making payments and they start digging around and snooping and they say, hey, it's been transferred. Yeah, they may do it anyway because they're probably going to foreclosure anyway. Two is you don't have insurance. That's usually the, one of the big things. A lot of people don't set up the insurance properly. So when we get insurance, we get a brand new insurance policy for that property. We add the seller on as an additional insured or the borrower. They won't even really be the seller anymore. The borrower, that's who she would be. We add them on as an additional insured because she has interest in that property because she has that loan in her name. But as long as we do that, I mean, it's pretty so good. So you get insurance on the property or the mortgage? We get insurance on the property we do nothing with the mortgage other than pay money okay and money. so insurance on the more uh, on the property prevents it from like getting yeah so what? any property um 
that a bank has a loan on, they, they have to have insurance. So say if something happens and this property did not have insurance, they would place insurance on it and charge you for it later. It's very important for banks or lenders to have forced placed insurance or you just pay for insurance. Because say if a tornado hits, a fire, um, you know, a flood, something natural disaster happens and their asset is destroyed, they want to have insurance on it. So it's up to the homeowner to have insurance. And if they don't, the bank will place force place insurance on it and put it in your escrow and make you pay for it later, basically. Okay. So it's very important for them to have insurance. So what's your exit? I'm not even sure. To be honest, I have no clue. I probably would sell it to somebody else. I'm probably, I don't think I want to buy this, to be honest. I would rather assign it to somebody else who wants to go deal with it that lives in the area or wants to do something like that. And when they buy it, like somebody, with a traditional loan couldn't buy or could they they could yeah you can buy this house traditionally well the elephant in the room let's start over from scratch the elephant in the room and she got an auction on the 20th that's first step one is stop the auction before oh, we can do yeah. any of that other stuff or we can just close prior to the auction we can do that either stop the auction or close prior to the auction that's our first obstacle we got to deal with um two i usually uh find a buyer within that time frame she'll be under contract today once she sends me her mortgage statement and everything looks like she says, um, and then I'll go to work. So on our purchase contracts, we can put it on the MLS. We can list it on the multiple listing service. Uh, I can send it out as a deal through my network of other investors. I can put it in the sub two group of the community and see who wants to buy it and take it over and do whatever they want to do with it. Whether they want to live in it, short term rental it, mid term rental it, traditional rent it, pad split it, all these other extra strategies, whatever you want to do knock yourself out i just get a fee for finding the deal and structuring the deal yeah okay so it's wholesaling on steroids yeah so you're in the deal for like 22 some uh approximately unless we find out it's something different because remember this is all hearsay i'm going to verify trust but verify everything she said we might go find out she only owed eight thousand or we might go find out she really owed 15. we don't know you sound you hear she didn't really know like oh i think it's yeah. about this they really never know. So we get all that real information and find out if or what is going on with that particular deal. And then we underwrite it from there and we try to market the deal from there and get the deal done. That's cool. Okay. I got to get on the phone. Yeah. 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 What, what's been stopping you? Oh, no. I have been. People haven't been answering. Well, that's normal. I Answer. <laughs> they, they never answer. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta keep going harder. Get get serious about it. Get structured. Maybe get some VAs. Yeah, yeah. Man, just a lot of ways you gotta you gotta get contact with them. And she didn't even answer when I called. I sent her a text. That text message I sent her and said, um, "Yeah, I heard you send it." What is this? Is that? Did we I could stop the we could stop the foreclosure, the auction. Yeah, I just sent that to the wrong lady. Oh, oh well. Uh, I just looked at it like, wait a minute, I said to the wrong person. Oh, well, I said somebody, thanks for speaking to me, but they didn't ever speak to me. Oh, well, they got a message that was, it's going to be for them anyway in the future whenever I speak to them. But you got that message I sent you the other day? That's it. No. <laughs> uh, damn. I didn't even trip off that, so I just looked. I said, wait a minute, I sent that to the but wrong lady. Oh, well. Called anyway. Yep. <laughs> it was somebody who didn't answer, but I'm going to send this to Amanda. That's who that was. Damn. Mm -hmm. I just sent it to Judy. Wow. Hey, Judy, Judy. Let's do this. Uh, all right, let me redo it. It was great speaking to you today. Learn more about us at this website. Please send the best email address for you, Chris. Boom. I just sent that. Okay, so now we got it. Woo! Good thing I look back. Right. So yeah, that's the name of the game. Talk to these people. Generate some leads. Start some conversations. You don't have to have all the answers. You know, just figure out what's going on with these people, and you know, bring them to me. I'll help you close them up. You know, it ain't no big deal. We love doing deals. What market are you in? Um, I'm in D.C. right now. Oh, okay. One of my best deals was done there in Hampton Roads, Virginia. Okay. Yeah, but I've been shopping around like Maryland. Yeah, we did a, a $34,000 wholesale deal there. Never seen the seller, never seen the house, never Ooh. seen the buyer. 100% virtual. I said, damn, I need to get into some other markets. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's in Virginia. That's a little away from here, but it is a lot of money around yeah. here. I don't even care where the house is. I just need a seller that got a problem. Yeah. I need a yeah. seller. Like this house, this ain't really that close. This is probably about an hour and a half, two hours away. I don't really, like I said, I wouldn't buy it <clears> for me, per se. I mean, unless it was something real sweet that I think I can do something with it. But, you know, I haven't even done all the rest of the research. I'm going to let her do her process. Then we underwrite it. Then we put them under contract. 
and then we see what we can do with it. Do you from ever there. do Section Eight? I do not deal with Section Eight. I do not deal with traditional rentals whatsoever. At all. At all. I do not do traditional rentals. I live in the creative space. I'm not a landlord. Oh. I'm more like the. I have a lot of real estate, but I am not a landlord. But when I first met you, heard about you on Clubhouse a while ago, you were talking about. Um, I guess that's how you got them on the property. But you were talking about what was it? Rent to own. Rent to lease. Own. Options. I got lease options all over town. Yes, ma'am. And I still am working on two more right now. So are sad. those not rentals? They're rent to owns, but they're not Section Eight and they're not traditional rentals. Oh. And they put a big down payment. They put a big chunk of money down before they get the keys to the house too. So, got it. so if somebody got dropped it. me ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, here's the keys. You know, you're approved. Got it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I want to get into that too. I want to get into that too, because I know a lot of people who don't qualify traditionally for a lot of stuff, but they have, you know, money. That penalty box buyers—they're everywhere. There's the demand is a hundred times bigger than the supply. There's more people yeah. that got that money who can't get a house. That's why I always look for these creative deals because I know I can structure something. So even for this, I know deal, a lot of people. What if I found a tenant buyer for this house? I mean, I might. I don't know. In that short of time, it's kind of short notice. But say if somebody came along and said, hey, I got 20 grand, or I got 15 grand, or something ridiculous, they can pay those arrears and all that other fees out. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. or, or they got 15 grand, I get a free house. You, I take your mm -hmm. 15 grand, pay her 11, keep the difference, and I may, I put you on a lease option, but I got the house as the deed. Right. See, that's the creative world I live in. Mm. So I live a little bit different. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's juicy. That's good. That's good. So you got this. I know you're on your way. Yeah. I just got... um license too in dc so i should be in my bag bag my big bag is coming so there you people go. like you who is just you know paying it forward so thank you Chris. Oh, you're welcome if you need anything let me know okay i will thank you bye all right peace all right there we have it ladies and gentlemen we are out here willing and dealing deals so yeah we got a verbal commitment from her oh and let me tell her also please send mortgage statement i know that other lady like i know somebody didn't just message me to my sending on mortgage statement who the hell is that okay so amanda's done and we're moving on to the next one any other questions about that before i go oh, let me scroll up there's a bunch of stuff in here um what do you do if the seller want to do a 1031 exchange after you pitch creative what's stopping them from doing a 1031 exchange well the question is why would they do a 1031 exchange they're not getting any tax hit for selling i mean it's a tax hit but it's not like they're receiving a bunch of cash you're taxed on the money you receive not the money you are promised so a tax or a 1031 exchange may not be uh they don't really go with none of this to be honest i never met and any investor that lost their investment to the do on sale clause. That's right, Jermaine. It just don't happen. I'm not going to say it never happens. What lead source or pool data? Inbound or pool data? So we pull data. Um, we go to wokesource.com. Wokesource.com. We pull lists. We skip trace the list at wokeskiptracing.com. Get the phone numbers and we call the people. So if you want to get a full list of all the stuff that we use on a regular basis, all the systems, services, uh, tools, whatever you want to call it, all of that is listed in full at wokerealestate.com forward slash marketing. Wokerealestate.com forward slash marketing. Let's put that in there. Boom. And pin it to the top. I'm trying to get good with this. All right. What else we got in here? Uh... And have you ever used the TRO to stop the auction? TRO, for those that don't know, the TRO is temporary restraining order. That is an option. I usually have pretty good luck with like a deal like this. I can stop our auction. It's weeks away. I can have our auction stop by Friday or Thursday. What's today? Tuesday? I have our auction stop by two, Thursday or Friday. Depending though, this lender I never heard of, Planet Home Lender, I don't know anything about them. I've never dealt with them before, but generally I can get an auction stopped in about 48 hours when I wave my magic wand. But I I have not, to answer your question, Chris, no, I have not used the temporary restraining order to stop the auction. But that is an option if we need to use it. Uh, she sent her email address, but I need that mortgage statement. Miss Amanda, she just texted me. 
Uh, I'm calling them now to get that statement. Okay, she's on it. Let me check this house real quick before I move on. Let me see. What's the ARV? What's the ARV on that property? What's the ARV? It don't look too bad of a house, does it? Let me let y'all see it. Y'all want to see what a house look like? It says estimate 180. That's how the house look. Look like a little metal roof or something on it. Cute little house from the outside. That's how it looks. We'll see how it looks when we get out there though. <laughs> Actually, this is a current picture, as, as a matter of fact. This is current. There's a truck in the driveway. I wonder when they took this, this picture. Because I thought she said it was vacant. Or maybe they took a picture when they were there in the process of moving. But she's already mentally and physically moved out of this house and moved into a rental home. That's when you know somebody ready to go. When they done moved out, that means they ready to go. They serious. So let me look this house up real quick before I keep it moving to the next people. Because I got more fish to fry. I got some more fish to fry. Put it right in your eye. I got some fish to fry. All right, so if I look on uh, ooh, Redfin, uh, it's not even showing. Come on, computer. Don't do that. Be nice. Okay. Uh, they don't give it a Redfin estimate at all. Well, if I... I scroll down and see what they sold for recently. Somebody texting me. Or calling. Oh, okay. That's somebody. That's the VAs. Um, from the information. Is this the right address? What's our address? Let me make sure I got the right address. Yeah, I got the right address. Okay. Um, they don't even have any sold comps over there. Damn, what a comp set. Let me look on the MLS. Let's go to the multiple listing service. Put on my realtor hat, even though I'm not a realtor. Ah, let me go put my realtor hat on. Not a bad looking house. That's what I think too, Jermaine. It might be something. Like I said, it's just kind of far from me. I don't think I want to mess with it, but somebody might want to buy it. One of my buddies, one of my buddies in that group. They take this house over y'all. It's out in the sticks. Let's see here. So this lady here. She, she's the only one on title. Three bedrooms, two bath, 1,400 square feet. Hey Chris, is that you? Damn. And she, oh, how much? 140? Well, on here, according to the MLS, it's saying the range is from one. 12 to 147 so it's probably close according to the MLS I don't mean it's 100% true but they saying about 150 on here basically but she oh, oh 140 but why is Zillow saying 180 who's lying here and it's an expired listing so they had to sell they tried to sell this house before and it ain't no comps damn they got zero comps no comps even the MLS but it says right here at the top that it's an expired listing so they've tried to list this house before prior to it getting all the way down like this who is the lender that ain't the same lender she told me they say Daz acquisition is the lender maybe they originated it and then they sold it you know they like to sell your loans all the time yeah it ain't no, no comps it's time to stick so we got to make up a number, Jermaine. Make up a number. Hey, it's 200, y'all. 0140. I put on lease option as a 200. Give me a 15 down. Huh? We got a new lead. Oh, man. Another one in the sticks. Just came in. VA just sent it in. Let's see what that is. That's a Houston, Missouri. Why the hell are they out there? Let's say, uh -huh. That's another pre-foreclosure, I'm sure. Uh, let me get Go look and see what that was she just said. She just messaged me and said, we got a new lead. Is that what that was? She, she found somebody. At least you know when they're pre-foreclosure, they seriously gonna sell it. They ain't just talking about, oh, what do you give me for? And all that old dumb stuff. It's a different conversation when you got a person in some pain. Wow, can I even say this name? Willika? Willika, is that her name? Willika. Oh, this is an expired listing. Um, I need a 
A lot of repairs that say roof is eight years old, it's vacant. Seven bedroom, three and a half bath house. Damn, it's a big house. Uh, reason for selling, she used to run a residential facility here, but her husband passed away. And now she is old and retired. She wants 60000 for it. And, and uh, the property is tied up right now. It has a lawyer working on it. I don't know what that's about. Probate? But her husband died. How could it be tied up? How is it titled? But this property is in Houston, Missouri, which I have no clue where that's at. Let's look real quick. No clue. Oh, no, that's a better looking house. That's a nice looking house. I wouldn't give her no $60 for it. I want to see what it looked like. Cute little house. Let's see what it looked like. Cute little house. Ain't that a little cutie? That was the only inter interior picture they put is this kitchen. Mm, I don't know. Look like something. Last question. Ashley was in pre foreclosure. Yes, yeah, she's in pre foreclosure. She had an auction pending for December the 20th. Yes. We either have to stop the auction or close the deal before that auction date. Yes, it is a pre foreclosure. Um, what pre foreclosure and listing services run auction out of St. Louis? Uh, uh, there's a couple of them. I'll, I'll check on that and get back with you, Jermaine. But yeah, there's a couple of them. Uh, um, so this house is not in pre foreclosure. I'm trying to see where this house is even at. I have no clue where this is at. Oh, yeah, they've been trying to sell this house for a minute. They've been trying to sell this house since. June 5th, 2023. They had it at 100000 and they dropped it to 90000 and they dropped it to 80000 and they dropped it to 70000 and they dropped it to 60000 And that's where we find ourselves today, 60000 But this is a seven-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath house. That's a big-ass building. But where is it at? I got to see where this is at. Talking about being in the sticks. Sheesh. I don't know where this is at. Let's, let's pull it up on the map. Houston, Missouri, not Houston, Texas. Houston, Missouri. Never heard of it. But yeah, we're talking about a podunk town. They got about, I don't know, 25 streets. They got a First Baptist Church. They got a cemetery. They got a Hardee's, a Taco Bell, a McDonald's, a Walgreens. It's an auction house out, out there and a couple other things. So this house is out near. Ugh, ugh. South of Rolla, south of Licking. Yeah, this is in the sticks, man. I don't know if I can do nothing with that, to be honest. I mean, I'll see what she's talking about, but I don't think I can cook out there. That's that ain't. I mean, this this mug is forty five minutes from the interstate. Hell, yeah. so it's out by. I don't know. The biggest towns I could think of is Licking, and that ain't even big. It's by Fort Leonard Wood. I guess is what we could say. This is out about, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes south of Fort Leonard Wood, I guess. Yeah. And I was stationed at Fort Leonard Wood. That was my last duty station in the Army. Ooh, Fort Lost in the woods, baby. I don't know. Though. You know, maps can be deceiving. I'm looking at it. It looks like it ain't that far, but yeah, it's probably 30, 45 minutes outside of Fort Leonard Wood. That would be the closest thing to this. So let's call her up. And here's a street view of the house. Street view, according to Google. Looks nice, nice little house, ain't it? How much for that van? Throw that van in with it. Put it on my tour of cars. <laughs> and speaking of that, I gotta get two of them fixed today. I forgot about that. So I'm only gonna be on here another 20 or 30 minutes if that. So for those of you wondering also, if you wanna see the replays of my calls, uh, so these calls that I do like this, I usually put them in for the subscribers to this channel. So if you're a subscriber, 
lover, not a follower. I love you followers as well. But if you go to my profile and push subscribe, you'll see all the replays of these live seller calls that I do uh, subscribers. So check that out. Subscribe to your boy on IG. All right, let's call Miss, uh, what's this lady name? And then she said, I need a lot of work. I mean, this lady got problems. Will Lika. Let's talk to Will Lika. I guess that's her name. W I L L E A K A. Will Lika. Hey, Will Lika. That ain't how you say it. It's Willoka. It's probably Will Lika. That's the only thing that makes sense. I don't want to say people's name when it be so janky. I'd be scared to say it. I'd be like, um, how you say your name, buddy? Hey, Miss Lake. Yes. This is Chris. You spoke to my assistant a little bit ago about your property on First Street. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Good, good. I would just follow Hold up. Hold on a minute, please. Yeah, sure. Take your time. Okay, go ahead. Yes, uh, I'm actually the buyer. Um, you just spoke to my assistant earlier today about the house there on Houston. In Houston? Uh, I was uh -huh. trying to see, yeah, how long has this house been vacant for? Uh, uh, how long has it been vacant? Yeah. About four or five years. Oh, four right. or five years. Well, no, wait a minute. We just moved, it's been a couple of years. Uh, we just moved here over across the yard a couple of years ago. So uh -huh. it's only been a couple of years. I was thinking of my husband's passing, but... <laughs> We moved over there a couple of years ago. Okay. okay. And so I guess you've kept the, the utilities on and keep it warm through the winters, or you've turned it off? How's that going? No, it's all, it's all been off. I mean, I sit in the forge this way, that one. Okay. So I guess you got it uh, winterized through the winter months. Is that what you did? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all winterized. Yeah, well, that's the right way to do it. Because any other way, you'll have a big problem with those pipes bursting, you know? Yeah, that's for sure. Perfect, perfect. And so I've seen in the notes here, it says it needs a lot of repairs. I mean, does it need like a full yeah. renovation? Uh, uh, no, it's not. We just got like a little, little dirt floor type thing, which uh, it's not very big. You know how uh, this house is about what? Seventy-five, hundred years old. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. Seventy-five to hundred years old. Right now. Yeah. It's a hundred and sixty years old. Hundred and sixty. Hundred and sixty. Oh, hundred and sixty years old. Oh, it's yeah. over a hundred years old. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good. It's a good landmark, you know. Uh, my husband. And I bought it, oh gosh, 30 some years ago. And we run a residential facility over there. And uh, he, he passed about five or six years now. And I couldn't I couldn't do it anymore. I'm 74 years old. So uh, I I couldn't stay in and do what I was doing, you know. Yeah. And, because we took care of 12 people over there and uh, it was just too much. <laughs> yeah, so, I definitely understand that. And so, um, if we were able to agree on a price and everything, how soon would you be looking to close and be done with this house? Uh, well, the, the thing is, it's tied up. Tied up. Uh, what do you mean by I tied up? Went, I, I went. I went to uh, to a Texas place and uh, a real estate in Texas, and uh, they in turn tied up my title to do what I couldn't sell to anybody or anything. Well, they still had my title, and from what I understand, they uh, they still have it. So I have a lawyer on it, and I was telling the assistant that if he was called me back, you know, uh, sometime, I'm sure he'll have something done, but 
Uh, right now, I don't know because I'm trying to get some time, you know. So wait a minute, how did it get tied up again? I'm I'm sorry, maybe I missed the part of it. How did it get tied up? Uh, uh, well, the company has my title. So somebody was attempting to purchase the property and they tied it up that yeah. way. Is that what happened? Right, right. So they put some uh, type of memorandum on it to cloud the title. Is that what they did? Yeah. Oh, but why would they do that? Since then, well, I don't know, but since then, the uh, company has uh, gone under and went bankrupt. So there's nobody there that enter any phone calls or anything. So I don't know how he's getting through. Uh, this is, and I've already, I've already had him uh, about a week and a half. So I'm, getting, I'm trying to give him time to uh, do something, you know. So, yeah. Uh, his name is Doug Gaston, and he's here in town. If you are looking up and, talk, and calling, that's fine with me. So it sounds like they're going to have to do some type of quiet title suit to get that removed if that company can't be located. Say what, huh? Sounds like they're going to probably need to do a quiet title suit to get that removed from your uh, title work. Um, all right. And I guess your attorney is working on that, so they'll they'll figure that part out. So you really couldn't sell it right now anyway, basically, right? Right. Yeah. Well, I can't sell it right now. Okay. Because if your company don't have anything to do with it, your the title is clear, and that's yeah. what he's trying to do. I definitely so, understand that. So like I said, he's a lawyer, and he is pretty good around here. He's known to be pretty good, so. If you want to call him and talk to him, his name's Doug Baxton. Uh, you know, he, I'm sure you could look him up on, on the internet. 100%. Uh, is this the only property you're going to be selling? Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, you sold it. You I have two pieces of, uh, I have two houses on one property. So you uh, sold all the others already? Yeah. Well, no, no. Uh, this house has got, what, two, three lots to it? Yeah, so. Well, a lot and a half. Well, two lots with the house sitting on it. And uh, then I have the other two. I owe from one corner to the other. And uh, from the street to the alley. Like two pieces of the property, I mean, two houses on the property. And I'm living in one of them. Oh, okay. So, so you're you're living in one, and the other one is the one you're trying to sell. Right. Oh, right. okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's better just to wait to see what your attorney can say about getting it clouded title okay. removed, and uh, we can probably see what we can do from there going forward. Just save my number right. here. If you're, if you're in the, you know, it, it's a good location, joint middle town, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's um, it needs you know, not a lot to you. It needs um, upkeep and, and changing, you know, upgrading on it. But um, like I said, my husband passed, and, and I just couldn't keep up with all of it, you know. Yeah. I'm on fixed income, so you know that helps. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. So yeah, just keep my number. Once they get their resolved, give me a call back anytime, and we'll see what we can do from there. Okay? But I gotta okay. jump on this other uh, call. Okay? Your number and you're Chris. My name is Chris with St. Louis Cash Bars. So yes, I will. Okay. Yep. So that'll okay. work. Thank you, Miss Lake. I'll talk to you later. Well, you left the number down. I wrote it down, and then I'll just add your name to it. Perfect. Okay. You have a good day. Thank you. All right. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. You can't sell right now, no way. Keep it moving. Uh, where is that at? Let me put that in here. Can't sell. What do we put in the CRM for that? Can't sell, no way. Title is clouded. Attorney is working on it. Spoke to Miss Lake. I ain't even try to get her name that Will Lika. I just say Miss Lake. She was selling me hard though. She's like, hey, it's in a good location. And you can do this and you can do that. No, 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 no. Calm down, homie. 
Calm down, homie. So there we go. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and push that. And we're gonna go see what else we got. Cause uh, yeah, I didn't think that was nothing. It was a good try, but you know, what you want me to do with that? The contract from, from yesterday. I'm waiting on her to sign it still. She's talking about some. Matter of fact, let's call her. Cause she got the contract. I don't really like sending the contract waiting on nobody to sign it like that. Good thing you brought her up. What, what was her name? Terry. Miss Terry. Hey Terry, how you doing? This Chris. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more, all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, wokereply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, wokereply.com. That's wokereply.com. Do you need funding for your real estate deals? Future Cash Flow Funding has exactly what you need. Whether you're looking to fix and flip, new construction loans, or if you even have rental properties, you can get the financing you need today. FutureCashFlowFunding.com. Check it out. FutureCashFlowFunding.com. Please leave your message for three, one, four. She knows she see me calling. Why would y'all do that? Please leave your message for three, one, four. Uh, uh, we're going to keep it moving for right now. She's on my list anyway. Let me call this lady with that commercial property that I walked through yesterday. That's who I need to talk to. So that's what we got. Um, you should have told her to save me as Cash Flow Monroe, and she was pitching for show. You know it. She was pitching hard. Got, I guess I can try that St. Charles bleed again. I gotta find it. It's in my email. There he is. Michael. Michael, what's up, my man? Say you won't share your house? We wanna buy that mud like that. Oh my god. 
that's who I sent that text to out of was this dude your message for okay so what we're gonna do now is shift gears uh, a few here uh, a girl a girl up on her sent off a we're trying to buy a portfolio of six houses creatively i sent an offer out and uh it said the agent and the seller is still mulling it over okay keep mulling because we're ready to buy uh, okay list at man got too many windows open can't find that hell So the newest, well, it was pulled yesterday on, for auctions. We got about 15 people in the St. Louis area here. And I met this guy when I knocked on his door. He was like, eh, I'd rather not. Okay, so we're gonna start from the top. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Let's call Mr. Shot. It's a pre foreclosure on the south side of St. Louis on Macklin. 63109. You want to be in 63109. Uh oh. You don't want to call from that number. I almost called from the wrong number. No, 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 no. You don't get my number. And then she, she raised her hand and said, Yes, I want to sell. And then we do something. Okay, let's call some pre foreclosures. They never answer the phone, just like you say. They never answer the phone. They never answer, never answer. But we're gonna call again and again and again. Other numbers too. Para continuar en español, presione 9. Oh, 
Oh, they hung up on me before I could press one. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. <laughs> Some dude named Russell. Russell Branson. She just sent me. Uh, she said, I have the statement. What's your email address? Okay, Amanda. She ready. I hope this house can be done because they kind of motivated. A motivated seller. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. Is that a saying they say out here? You can't say the right. Oh, uh, messed that up. You can't say the wrong thing to the wrong person. I don't know. Something like that. Well, who is this? Call from Pretty Houses. Hello, and thanks for calling. Oh, uh, no problem. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, I was able to get into the property over there yesterday. Um, are they, uh, was somebody trying to convert it from being a kitchen to something else? Is that what they're doing, I guess? Or something else? Yeah, the it, it looked like they, they put up putting up a wall or something to like change it from being a kitchen to making it something different. No, 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 no. You see somebody there? No, nobody was there, but you could tell somebody's been working on it. No, no, that's a long time ago. Oh, okay. Somebody told you we're trying to make some construction and stuff like that, and everything is finished. Oh, okay. I stop. Yeah, yeah. Like I told you, the people come and put the wall again. But you found the key and you, you get in the other one? Yeah, I was able to get into both sides. I actually crawled through the window to open yeah, the other side. side. Yeah. yeah, I got one in both side, sides. The right side. Yeah, and I locked that other door back as well. So we locked everything back up. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, everything. yeah. So what did they, uh, so, so what would be like the best case scenario for you guys with this property? Um, Ten years work, and I see if it's work. It's a, yeah, it needs a lot of work, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we can, somebody works with it. We can stop and do the wall and take everything out and stuff like that. We can do it, you know. How much were you looking to get for this one again? Uh, I want to see how much you want to pay. Yeah, because my partner was over there with me. He was saying he would probably pay around 60000 for it. How much? 60000 Oh, that's a really low. Yeah, that's what he said, though. That's just what, you know, I don't know if he would even want to yeah. buy it. That's just what he told me. I mean, what did you have in mind? I, I asked for more because, you know, if you, I don't know if you check about how much the building got out of the area, I think you do that. Yeah. If it's as as it will be more than regular price, yes, but not like very low like that. Not what? like half, you know. How much did you have in mind? I asked for a hundred. One hundred? And I can't fix this stuff. So you hundred, yeah. So a hundred thousand cash and be done with it as is. Um yeah. I mean it's not, not too far off, but I mean, you know, Taking it like that with having to do that work, we can we can fix it up. Okay. Um, okay. Now, now, have you all looked into anything as uh, as far as anything creative? Like if we you know put like a little down payment and made payments over time, would you be open to something like that? Uh, if you have somebody will take it, we don't want to do the payment and keep it everything, and I don't want a problem, you know. I hope it will be in one time. Yeah, because I actually have somebody that's interested in it that way, but I didn't know if that was something you were open yeah. to, um, to do. This way, I don't know. I, I don't know. 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 I
I I I think it's not really good for me. Yeah. You know, I. Yeah, yeah I want to make sure you win. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, so. I think he can do that one more cash. I appreciate it. I mean, I mean, even if I can. So, so if I can get my my partner to come up to say like I don't know, seventy thousand. You think that would help? Uh, if you if you don't mind, last year, last year, he gave me, and that's my problem. And we didn't do it. I had like one thirty five offer on it. Really? You see how much I get now? Oh, believe me, believe me. Like this last year, like yeah, last year in this time. Wow! Right in tax season. I could have sold it. I mean, I was in Canada town, and the deal is not going. I was. And I tell all overseas, and I get lit, and the deal is not done. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. See how how much I lose. Right. That's why, because if you need work, that's why I get down. You know, I don't want to tell you this problem. I get down after this. I get you from the bottom. Yeah. Right. Right. Me or not, I, 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 I totally understand. I mean, it, it can be a lot of work. Yeah. Um. I mean, you know, I, I can, because I mean, for us to buy, we would have to be a little. I change, I change the roof. The roof is very good. The finding is really good. It's walking cooler box in the other side. Everything is not very bad, you know. We can I can work for a little bit, but not like teaching me or stuff like that. If I ask my son, maybe he can work a little bit. And if if you if you're interested and you make the deal done, I can work a little bit with you. Okay. Hey, you know, we do have a program where we actually help people get, you know, find buyers for properties like this. I mean, it wouldn't cost you anything. I mean, would you want, want us to do something like that for you? Like, go try to find somebody that would buy it for you? Yeah. Is that something you'd be open to? Like, I'm not understand. I'm sorry. Yeah, so basically I can send it out to my network of, uh, of people that's investors in around town here and see if they would be interested in it. Um, we just have to have your permission to show it, basically. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so we just have to have something in writing saying that we have permission to show it and things like that. So what I'll do is I'll... Yeah, that's fine. I, I can give you the key. Give the key with you, too. Okay. I do that. Okay. And then I'll, I'll, I'll send you something in, on your email as well, just in writing, just to say we have permission to show it, et cetera. And then um, we'll go from there. I mean, is that going to be okay for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Thank okay. So much, I'll have something sent to you here in a little bit, and uh, we'll get it, and we'll uh, we'll oh, we'll get, send it out to our okay. network. See what we can get for it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye. Low key called code word wholesaling. I log it up and go send it out and see if somebody wants it. I don't know. Hell, we call that wholesaling, baby. We got a program where we help people like you help find buyers for their properties. I mean, is that the right way to say it, Jermaine? What do you think? I mean, that was kind of sloppy. I didn't see it really as clear as I wanted to, but because she kind of in and out and speak foreign, so I don't want to speak too fast. I was talking fast. I had to slow that thing down. But um, So Amanda from earlier emailed back and said, I forwarded, let's see here, I ordered the document document to tell me how much the attorney fees are. I don't know if you'll be able to help me because I owe more than 11000 And I'm just going to say I will help you either way. So, Obama. Okay. So, yeah. So, for this particular lady, this was that commercial building y'all saw me walking through yesterday. She said she had it sold for 135 last year this time. I wish I can get somebody to take 135 this year because I'll put her under contract for 100 and then I'll go out and shop that bad boy for 135 again and sell it and see if somebody wants it. Commercial building, baby. I got to go back and get this uh, lady's contract. So, I'm going to put her under contract with this. Don't play with me, man. So that's what I'm going to do. But that lady I just got off the phone with, I basically just told her I'm going to wholesale her deal. I mean, I didn't say those words. I said we have a program to help people, but we're going to see. You see how I play that word play? I'm basically telling her I ain't buying it, but I'm going to help you get a buyer for it. But she just got to sign this contract. I already got the key. I already got access to the property. All I need now is her to sign this contract. 
So let me pull up that property real quick on the MLS. Any questions, comments, concerns before I wrap this thing up for today? Because I got to do some paperwork stuff and I don't think you want to sit here and watch me type on a computer. I'm just going to uh, see who, who's on the title. That's what I want to know. Is this even in her name, company name, etc.? Any questions? Um, I don't know why this isn't showing up. Why, why is this not showing up? It's not even coming up on the MLS unless I typed in something. Wrong. Oh, it did come up. Okay. Uh, so they bought this for fifty-four thousand back in two thousand five. For this commercial building, um, um, yeah, that's what it is. Um, it's under is that her name? Ibrahim. I don't even know who the hell that is. Who's Ibrahim? Her name is Iman. Maybe that's her husband or something. I meant to ask her about that. Who is Ibrahim? So, yeah, I'll deal with that. So let's go back here. Any questions? Uh, I missed part of it on the actual call. He was on a call, but I like the program pitch to show my network the buyers. Exactly. I popped in. Looks like you're wrapping it up. I'll catch you next time. So, yeah. So two things to remember here, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you uh, turn on your post notifications so you know when I'm going to go live and do these calls. And if you want to watch actual replays of these calls, you have to subscribe to this channel. Not follow. Thank you for the follow. We like those. But hit the subscribe button. Go on my profile, hit the subscribe button, and you can get all the replays of these seller calls. And uh, it'll help get you some skills to pay the bills. So don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's YouTube, that's TikTok, that's Clubhouse, fan base, X. You know what's next. I'll catch you on, on the next one. So do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Peace.